What's going on guys, Robert Hall here. Just want to give a shout out to TatterAndShredder.com for supplying me with the gear of this workout. And a shout out to Gallagher's Power. You can head over there and get apparel and gear as well. Shout out to Symbolic Muscle for giving me some of the best pre-workout and BCAAs on the market. All right, get started here. I didn't record any of my warm-ups. Uh, maybe I'll do it next time, but here's 505. Start off with a few triples. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do now is treat everything like a single. Uh, basically, it's all I'm going to work up to is singles, you know. So, this is what I'm trying to think in my head, and I'm doing singles, even though I'm doing triples. So, I'm doing three singles is what I'm trying to get through my head. I'm also doing short rests, uh, 15 seconds of rest here. I got my friend uh, Chris Sauter over here recording the time for me, so that way I got to keep track of that. <laughs> less things to do, less things to worry about. So recording here from the side, I can see where my shape and where my form is at. Now for for me, it, it just seems that my back might not be straight, but to me it feels straight and that's, that's where it's most comfortable at for me. And this this is some easy lightweight day for me. I could probably use to, to get down a little bit lower, maybe get my hips down a little bit lower. Uh, just first day back, so you know, I'm kind of easing back into things. So it wasn't wasn't too extenuating for me today. All right, so this third set here, uh, basically what I try to do is uh, reset after each each of the reps. Just to kind of basically get my tightness back. Uh, I'm starting to get a little more fatigued here. I did five sets of three, so this is the third set, and uh, I can feel that. Taking a whole week off was, you know, it takes a little toll on my body, but at the same time, once I get get going, it, everything works out fine. After that, we moved on to barbell rows. Uh, by this time, I had ripped some of the skin off my palm a little bit, uh, so I started using straps. I do use straps from time to time. If my hands hurt, and I will put them on. Uh, I still get the overload from my back, and it saves my hands for the next week. So I don't mind doing that. What I try to do is get a nice nice bend, not too far forward, not too far back, and basically slide the, slide the barbell up my legs, kind of like I would do on a finishing movement of a deadlift, sliding it up, up my thighs. And we did three sets of 10 in that barbell row. Uh, moving on here, we go to lat pull downs. This is gonna be the last exercise for me. So basically what I try to do here is get a nice lean back and pull it down, similar to what uh, the movement is for my bench press when I'm going on the descend. So basically that mimics that so I can get my lat tightness and my shoulder tightness uh, in my rear delts. Basically getting those muscles engaged so that way for when I do my bench press, it feels the same way. You know, I know this movement and that helps, helps me get the strength to, to keep it stable. Then doing some rope crunches, doing some abs. I forgot I had my belt on, but since I'd already got down and started doing a couple reps, I've already committed, so you know, with me, once I can be in a minute to win it. So I just did this set uh, with the belt on. Doing anywhere from 10 to 20 reps, uh, the rope crunch. Basically really just focusing on my abs. Uh, and then I try to breathe out uh, with every rep. Kind of opposite of what I do on my actual lifting, but what I want to try to do is keep my abs tight and squeeze them as hard as possible every time I do a contraction. So that way I can get my, my abs worked and then start creating uh, basically what I call my ab belt, which I use for all my lifts. Just basically to get my, my abs tight, which which basically creates a belt on its own. So most of the time I don't need a belt, uh, but after I was doing these deadlifts here, getting over here to the lat pulldowns, uh, my back was starting to get a little tight. Going on to this, this next set, I put my hands a little closer, kind of similar to where my hand grip is on the bench. Uh, just thinking about the same thing, mimicking that movement of pulling the barbell down and and getting tight and being able to pause there. So I do these reps uh, with a nice squeeze. Uh, I get a good stretch at the top, squeeze, good stretch at the top, squeeze, good stretch at the top, squeeze. It's the same thing with any kind of accessory work I do. I think about getting a good good contraction at the bottom. You know, just, just basically to kind of etch into my brain that the more repetitions that I do, the better I'll get at this this kind of exercise or, or this kind of rep. So just, just think about doing a rep after rep after rep and trying to make sure that is that is perfect every time. 
you know, you can't really say to be perfect, but, you know, you practice trying to be perfect, then you produce better results in my mind. And here, once you notice that I take the belt off and actually do these rope crunches again, uh, I get a little more range of motion uh, and the ability to squeeze down at the bottom. So I get a good, nice stretch at the top, getting a little bit of uh, straightness in my back. And then coming down and crunching basically with just my abs alone, not pulling it down with my arms, uh, pulling it down my legs or anything else, just trying to use my abs to pull it down. A lot of people do the rope crunch wrong. They do it really, really fast. They pull it down with the arms. When you do that stuff, you're working different muscles. You're working uh, your serratus and all that and uh, getting your lats involved. This is going to be the last set for me. did three sets of... Uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 reps. I didn't really keep track. I never, I never keep track of my accessory reps, uh, only for mainly for the fact that I like to go to failure. Uh, so I do as many reps as I can, basically in, a, in as best form as I can. If my form starts breaking and I'll stop. But this is gonna be uh, pretty much the end of the video. If you guys wanna see anything else or want me to add anything else or talk about anything else for the next video for the series, just shoot me a message. Hit me up with a comment, uh, like, subscribe, and share my video. Thank you guys.